viewers the latest news about ethiopia tigray and amhara region is that this today's video is very important so this video will be seen completely in this video we will discuss tigray defense force possible strategy to get control on lalibela and other main places whereas we have received many reports from reliable sources on the lalibela front that i will share with you in this video and also received many notification from the rest of the front that i will share with you in this video so first of all let's talk about the ongoing fight on kobo and a far border this according to the latest reports received from several reliable sources tigray defense force has taken control of many areas around kobo which includes high mountains around kobo and tigray defense force also claimed that zobal mountains are under the control of tigray defense force which of course this is a great achievement for tigray defense force because now tigray defense force soldiers can easily move from here to kobo and afar region which and there have also been reports that tigray defense force soldiers are moving on the sides of kobo and reached very close to kobo city was on the other hand clashes are also going on on a far tigray border near yalo the area of far region but no important information has been revealed from there yet reportedly tigray defense force is facing resistance in a far region viewers one strategy here is that tigray defense force is not deploying more soldiers on the border a far tigray border because the main purpose of tigray defense force on the a far tigray border is to prevent the ethiopian national defense force and its allies soldiers to enter in the tigray region and tigray defense force is trying to gain control over the main areas of the amhara region instead of the afar region was because reports have just been received that tigray defense force has launched a war on the new front in addition to the kobo front in the amhar region and that new front is lalibela whereas lalibela is an important place in the amhar region and it has an important place in term of religion and tourism which according to the latest reports received from several reliable sources tigray defense force has started moving towards lalibela and in many areas fighting is going on between ethiopian national defense force its allies and tigray defense force which tigray defense force has two routes here with the help of which they can move towards lalibela and gain control on the lalibela city viewers the first is that tigray defense force soldiers moved towards lalibela after gaining control over kobo because if you look at the given map on the screen kobo is located near lalibela city so tigray defense force soldiers can move towards lalibela and on the other hand tigray defense force soldiers can also move towards lalibela from waghemra in this way tigray defense force soldiers will have to take control of more areas than kobo in order to get into lalibela from waghemra because the important city in waghemra is kyota and here maybe tigray defense force strategy to move towards lalibela from two sides at once because the alwaha bridge between kobo and waldia has been destroyed by ethiopian national defense force and amhara forces so that tigray defense force soldiers cannot move 
towards Valdia after gaining control over Kobo from A to Highway. So of course, Tigray Defense Force soldiers will move towards Lalibela after Kobo. And according to the latest reports, Tigray Defense Force soldiers are moving towards Lalibela from the sides of Waghemra. Lalibela is a town in the Mara region of Ethiopia located in the Lasta district and North Bolo zone. It is a tourist site for its famous rock cut monolithic churches. The whole of Lalibela is a large and important site for the antiquity, medieval and post medieval civilization of Ethiopia. And to Christians, Lalibela is one of Ethiopia's holiest city and a center of pilgrimage. Because the battle between the government forces and Tigray are more serious than the ones that happened last year. Because on the other hand, Tigray President Dibrat's son Gabriel Michael has fired warning shoot to Addis Ababa following Friday's airstrike in the region's administrative capital, Makle, which left at least seven people, mainly children, dead in what has triggered global convention. Because on Friday, the Ethiopian Air Force conducted an airstrike in Makle, even with an existing temporary ceasefire agreement, and in a move that could further escalate the global conflict which has left thousands of people dead and millions displayed from their home. Based in a statement on Facebook, the Bradson Gabriel Michael termed the airstrike targeting children by extension of the genocidal project. Official report shows that those who died were mainly children who were playing on the outskirts of the town. We was to yet indicate the probability of renewed fight, the regional president stated that the attack in Makle will only accelerate the demise of Abe Ahmad's regime. The Prime Minister has been under pressure to reconcile with Tigray People Liberation Front. Because enemy started this extension attack on Tigrayans in the assumption that the people of Tigray cannot defend themselves after siege starving them for more than a year now, the president added. And this was his first major statement aimed the standoff between Makle and Addis Ababa. Because the president also said that the Ethiopian government had conducted an airstrike on Thursday in Mekoni, southern Tigray, and Thursday's airstrike and the subsequent raid on Makle came a few hours after Tigray People Liberation Front was accused of stealing fuel meant for vehicles being used by World Food Program. An Ethiopian National Defense Force has been at loggerhead with the TPLF, and effort to unite the two parties are yet to bore fruits. While the Ethiopian government warned the African Union to take charge of the reconciliation, the Tigray People Liberation Front is pushing to have Kenya as a mediator. So viewers, so far the latest update. For more latest update, please subscribe channel. Thanks for watching.